So we just got out of that van, the UV Express van, because we just returned. We just returned to Alamino City from Tegupan. Had a few things to pick up. And it's about 6 p.m. Time for grab something to eat. We just take this to go. Something to take home. Mm -hmm. All right. We just had to drop in the Jolly Bee to get a quick bite to eat or quick bike to take home rather. So anyways, so anyways, we spent the uh, better part of the day in Dagupan City. We had to uh, go out there to do a little bit of shopping uh, look for a food processor which we found a pretty nice one on sale and a cupcake pan both of those items for the chef make her life a little bit easier when she's doing her thing and I uh, well, a little bit of Christmas shopping for some people. I won't mention names. <laughs> and some tank tops for me. So a word of advice if you're coming over coming over here to the Philippines to visit or live, bring tank tops. Even if you don't wear them in the States, like I, I quit wearing tank tops in the late 90s, early 2000s. No particular reason I guess just stopped wearing them and I get over here and I started again because uh, well you'll <laughs> you'll know why once you get over here wearing even wearing t-shirts for me is not very pleasant in the uh, hot weather tank tops are definitely the way to go so anyways we got our Jollibee we're finally walking home dark obviously and uh, we're just gonna go go inside the house relax eat dinner let the dog out watch some TV take some showers yeah and then uh, by the time we get all that 
Well, it'll probably be shit. It'll probably be time to go to bed. So it's been a long day. Feels nice to be back. Seven PM? Yes. Save more? Yeah. Open till seven? Did, what are the hours just got extended? Uh, what was it before? Six? Five? Five before. Five. Six. Well that's good. Things are slowly improving. That's always good. I think you best I already six. Okay. Well, that's good. If nothing else, gives the employees an extra well, extra hour of salary, mm -hmm. extra hour to work. Yeah. I'm not sure. Very well may have. Yeah, it is a little wet over there. Maybe it did rain. A little wet on the side of the road here too. Uh, I hope, hope she's okay. We left the dog outside um, in the front porch foyer area but there is an overhang that she can uh, she can get under if it really starts to I'm sure she will pick up her mouth again. starts to rain you sure what she will bitch up bitch up on us again no she won't bitch up on us <laughs> she'll be crying like a baby as soon as she hears our voices She'll be whining and crying with, with joy. Little puppy tears of joy. You leave me alone, blah, 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 and let me out. Leave me alone. You guys go out and do all kinds of fun things. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here guarding the house so nobody so nobody messes with your empire. <laughs> we got the Audubon back here. Tell you what, man, these trike drivers and these scooters, these trikes and scooters and whatever else travels through here, I mean, they just, they just rip through here like it's, like it's a racetrack. It's like, dude, there's kids, dogs, elderly people. I mean, <laughs> Foreigners, you know? <laughs> Foreigners, yeah.
doesn't know how they drive. Yeah, people like me that are like, oh my god. Shock and awe. Alrighty. Yeah, this is our walk home. You'll see the dog here momentarily. Okay, well we made it home. And we made it in the house. The dog's happy. As you can see, she's been waiting. <laughs> I got her just about five feet, maybe ten feet at the most out of the gate. And she's... Yeah, she really had to go. Dog's happy. All right, let's take her a little bit more. So anyways, we got we got in, made it home safe. Get We're gonna finish up our finish up our thing here and then we're gonna head in. So